everyone. Today is the official moving day. I look a wreck because I've been a wreck, not gonna lie. My room looks so weird and messy and just everything else, but the mattress, this mattress is about to go and then once I'm next in here, it's literally gonna be four white walls. So this is really strange, but it's time to get up. The moving van has arrived and our day is about to start. has gone all we've got left is the mattress but also <laughs> but also there's a lot of mess so i thought the only things i had was the things in my cases that are coming with but there's lots of extra things that i forgot to pack or do anything with so not quite sure what's going to happen with this this is the best part of moving big furniture as you get still the lovely things no do you know what there was more than that as well a nice lipstick there you go oh, it's like you can treat Day. yourself you can have it if you want <laughs> and so the the duvet is also packed up somehow all in this bag and just like that the room is empty so now mum and i we are going to take our suitcases and stuff that we're gonna be taking with us to the rented accommodation we're going to start dropping stuff over there because between us there is quite a lot we were meant to have one case each but that just didn't happen so we've got a lot of stuff to take so mum and i are going to go fill up the car and go over there now just arrived at our new place it's just really strange like it's starting to feel really real now my eyes Everyone's actually really hurt from being emotional oh my god <laughs> brilliant everyone is really sad all our things are in the back here Not and all of we're them. gonna we're gonna, oh, yeah, actually, yeah. we're gonna have to do a lot yeah. of trips but we've got a lot of things in the back here and we're ready to go see our new place which yeah, i will show you i will give you a tour and stuff but i don't know when that will be at this point we just got the keys, baby, the keys. And, and it's actually so nice, oh, isn't it's it? So nice. It makes me feel so oh, much that's exactly what I was yeah. just about to say. We were obviously, well, we are still really sad about leaving home, but I obviously. think it's going to make us miss it a lot less now. We've got a place that's really nice, yeah, yeah, and it's really big, and I can't actually wait to give you guys a house tour. So that's all to come. But we're going to go home. We've emptied this now, and we're going to go home and really fill it up with more and come back. But I actually, I kind of want Jed or Dad to do this trip next so that they can see it. Because yeah. actually, I'm so excited now exciting current situation the house just looks so strange i mean oh it's just weird it actually looks huge though now everything's been taken out of it it looks so much bigger everyone knows we're moving bot bella which is what's so sad she's gonna be so confused oh she keeps sitting at the door so i think she is already confused as to like where's everything gone isn't that right bella bella isn't that right <laughs> this is what bella's just been doing all day just standing just watching, just extremely confused. Oh, it's been so cute, her sitting at the door, hasn't it? Just watching. I gave her some treats. <laughs> oh my God, and my empty bedroom. <gasps> this is really actually making me quite sad, but do you know what makes me happy? Is that actually a family are moving into here, so at least it's still gonna be somewhat a family home. Meanwhile, upstairs, mum is cleaning the bathroom, getting it spotless for the next family who are gonna be living here. I don't know if that's spotless, but... <laughs> well, trying. Oh, it looks really nice. I've also um, bought a bottle of champagne and a little card to leave, haven't you? I love what I'm talking to you is you literally, your back's just bent over and off. Car is getting packed with the things we're taking with us. Yes, we are taking our dumbbells. And this is currently what the van is looking like. This is another van, actually. Casey's come to visit from afar. Well, I didn't come to visit. <laughs> I come to pick things up yeah. because... But now he's looking from afar because you're not allowed to come in. Yeah, it's literally so <laughs> sad. The thing is, like, you've already left this house before, so does it still feel weird? I'll tell you what feels weird. I was saying to me, right, this still feels like home. Like, for, when I moved out for two years, I still said, oh, should we go to my house? Yeah, here, yeah, I, I get you. House now. But when 
you guys, oh, obviously you're moving somewhere else, but when, like, it's never going to be my house. Oh. I'm never going to live there. Well, Case, it's never going to be never mine either. Yeah, but you are, just for a little bit of time, so you're going to feel like this is home. <laughs> like, for me, it's just like, let's go to this random house of my mum and I live in. Yeah. <laughs> well, it's not going to be that. It just doesn't, I don't feel like I'm ever be connected to the new house. Oh. You can be connected to mine. You can come visit whenever you want. I'll have the kids. Really close to us, so. Yeah, that's true. This is what I've been doing. This has been my job. Bubble wrapping um, things up. Go so me. So <laughs> I mean, I'm not sure how good my bubble wrapping is, but I've been taping it. And Mum's like, you don't even need to do that. Just, just put it in. Just one wrap and put it in. And I'm like, well, if everything smashes, do not blame me. Look at this little one helping out. Casey was interviewing us all for our vlog. Like, how does it feel? How does it feel? And I said, not being funny. You should be interviewing Tyler over here as well. He's been here long enough. Does it feel like your home? <laughs> the, the last things we've got to do is the fridge, so we're just <laughs> emptying it. And um, after that, this fridge is going to be taken, and I think that's what's going to look really strange because the kitchen is the messiest room in the house currently. It just doesn't seem to be getting any emptier. Well, I think once this fridge is gone and we start clearing out the kitchen, it's literally going to be like a dead house, isn't it, Mum? It's going to be an empty house. <laughs> Echo. I wonder if you can hear that on the camera. That's actually so loud. Echo. What the hell? Echo. 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 Chili, stop going to do it in your room, mate. I might do. <laughs> Goodbye. Oh, sad times. Ella hasn't eaten her dinner and she looks so sad. Hello. She definitely knows something's going on. <laughs> oh. So I've been back and forth like a thousand times to drop all of our stuff off and it's pitched back outside. The house is officially empty, isn't it? It's empty We've been, echoing. It's echoing. We've been a little bit emotional. And I actually posted a poll on my Instagram asking if you wanted to see an empty house tour. Um, I've never done this before, so here we go. Go on then, Dad. Give me your best. Welcome to my MTV Cribs. Welcome to this room. This is empty as you like. Okay, Dad. No, this is, um, okay, let's just explain what it was. Okay. <laughs> this was our office, wasn't it? It was. This was our office. Follow me. Oh, we're showing the house that's no longer ours. So this in here was always the messy room that I used as a wardrobe. It used to be Casey's room when he, was, when he lived here. Oh, yeah, it was. And then it was Jed's room. No, it was never Jed's room. No. When I moved from here, I just moved to the other room. This was Casey's room, and then it was my room. And then this was spare room. And Jed's room. That was Jed's room. 100% that was Jed's room. Oh, yeah. Then it was Jordan's room. Yep. And then it became a spare room. Yeah. Then we've got our bathroom that I know you've seen a thousand times. So that's the last you're going to be seeing Saffron vlogging in there. Yeah. And then this right here, I actually don't really think you've ever probably seen this properly, but this was my mum and dad's room. Welcome to the crib. This is where it all <laughs> oh God. <laughs> That sounds really weird. Yes, that's that little that wardrobe. Our wardrobe. That was our ensuite. Well, you need to turn the light on, Dad. They can't see anything. This was our favourite bath. This was. This here. And this was the one, the only. Started as Frances's room. This is what I was about to say. So, if you guys know, my mum and dad used to be carers for people with learning disabilities, elderly people with learning disabilities, and they used to live in this room. So then, once they passed, this then became my room, and now it's. I feel like I've shown you this one a thousand times because I'm just sad. I've never seen it like this with no bed or anything. Okay, right, let's close the door. I'm going to cry. <laughs> and this was Casey's this, room. When we first moved here, this used to be the dining room. No, it didn't. It did. This, really? This what they had as a dining room. We never had it as a dining room. Yes, we did, didn't we? We had it as a dining room. No I way. I remember having Chinese on there on Christmas Day. I don't remember that. That's no, so Christmas weird. Day. Why would you have No, it was New Year's Eve, wasn't it? We had a Chinese... I'm not being funny, but why would we have a dining room in here? That just seems so strange. We didn't have the conservatory. Oh, that's so weird. So this was a dining room. It's now... Well, it's not anymore, but it was Jed's room until up to today. Before it was Casey's room. Yeah. So basically, all these these rooms have been used for a little bit of everything, not gonna lie, we've all swapped around a lot. This was Harlow's room, and it was, I think it was Jed's room at some point as well. And then through here, our lounge. And it's really strange because it's so echoing here. And I said to mom, it seems even more white our house now, doesn't it? Because all you can see is white. It looks like we're in like a very nice luxury prison or something. This used to be the lounge and still is the lounge. Yes. <laughs> well, hopefully they keep it. 
And then this was our kitchen, utility room. This is where Bella stayed. And then finally our conservatory. I know, it looks huge now. And that's it, guys. Where all the parties happen, wasn't it? Yeah. And so, just like that, guys, we are leaving our family home, which we've spent 19 years in. I mean, it's just weird, to be honest. Wait, your whole life, really? Yeah, it? my entire yeah. life I've lived Certainly here. Jed. This is all I've ever known. No, Jed, Jed was a week, Jed was Jed, a week old. Jed was here even when you were pregnant. Didn't you? Yeah. Everyone's been an emotional wreck all yesterday and this morning, and she's a bit braver now. Jed, Jed's been in a really funny mood all day. And I put it down to that he's also a little bit emotional, but now we're suddenly they're, moment, now they're both it. really just happy. Like, Darren, do you want to get out? Just saving yeah. the tears for later. Yeah, Dad, you're the <laughs> one that's getting the bravest face here. Mum was just getting all choked up when she was writing the leaving card. Yeah, but well, there's a lot of memories, but yeah. I sort of already sort of worked my way into this months ago. I think the nice thing yeah. is, though, another family's moving in, and that yeah. makes me happy because before this family was going to move in, it was going to be turned into, I don't even know yeah, what it's going to be turned into, like but it wasn't going to be a house, thing, so it was all yeah. going to be knocked down. So at least it's going to another family. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, what did we knock down? Oh my god. And hopefully they'll have many, many happy years as we have. And we hope you guys enjoyed just my vlogs in this house. Do really not to say then? Okay. Anyways, we're gonna go to our new house now. Yeah. to that, and then um, and then we're gonna be going onwards and upwards to Saffron's house, and then follow the journey. See ya. Bye. Said. This is a colour, it's going because I'm too much for me. I don't like being emotional, I like being a hard bitch. So <laughs> Here's to a new chapter. Are you ready? I'm ready. Hi everyone, I'm Saffron. And I'm Wendy. And welcome to our brand new podcast of Mum Mom Made Me. I'm just going to say oh, it with right. you. Okay, one, two, three. Mum Made, made me, me Do It. it. <laughs>